Hi my beauties, welcome back to my beauties big sister channel. If you are new here then welcome, thank you so much for clicking on this video. It would mean everything if you subscribed and click the bell button so that you never miss a video. It's so annoying that you have to do so many things just to make sure you see my videos, but yeah, if you do do them two things that would be amazing. So how are you all beauties? What have you been up to? Like thank you so so much for all of the love on my what's dropped in my beauty box video. Like honestly it's just so lovely hearing from you. I know like sometimes you might think I don't know what to comment but please just comment and talk to me like a friend, like you're texting your friend. Let me know how you are, what's been going on in your life. If you've got any questions at all for me or want to ask me advice then just put it down in the comments and I will get back to you. Now I went for lunch with my family last week and they were kind of all talking about how low key their skincare regimes are and low key is fine, basic skincare regimes are fine, but you need to do something. If you have a really clean diet and you drink lots of water but you also are eating foods which contain a lot of water as well, then that is brilliant and okay you might not need the most extravagant skincare regime but for me I don't eat that well and I'm really bad at drinking water so for me skincare is a must. I have never been someone just to use a makeup wipe and go to bed. I've always really cleansed my face, moisturized. Some of the products that I have in my collection aren't extravagant. You know, I have E45, which I love. I love E45 cream for my face. And at the same time, I love La Mer as well. So I've got a real mix of products, but obviously there's so many new skincare products launching basically every week and I am very very fortunate to get sent a lot of them so I have put together like a bundle of products that I am gonna give a go from masking to lip masking, eye masking, serums, creams, I'm gonna do it all now so if you want to see a full skincare regime then just keep on watching. Okay so my face is bare now I have used the incredible like I cannot rave about this product enough. Even if you just invest in one cleanser or one product, I just love this. So it's the Bare Minerals Oil Obsessed Cleanser. It's just the most beautiful oil for your skin. I love using this Bare Minerals Oil Cleanser to remove all my makeup. So I just literally use my fingers, take all my makeup off and then rinse it off. And then I go in again just to double cleanse and make sure that everything is removed. All the dirt, makeup, grime, everything that's collected on my face throughout the day basically. So once I have cleansed, I would normally then go in with a scrub. I only scrub my skin about once a week and I've already done it this week so I'm not going to do it in this video but the L'Oreal scrubs are amazing. Really, really good value for money and they really do work. I love the Kiwi one. It's so lovely. I have popped them on videos before so I'll link it up here if you do want to go and see them in action. Okay, so let's move on to cleansing. Now this is the Glam Glow Youth Mud tingle exfoliate treatment now i have never tried a glam glow mask before i feel like i'm seriously missing out so i'm very excited that i now have this in my collection and it was actually MS that sent me this glam glow i had no idea they stocked so many amazing skincare brands in MS. the fact that it says tingle really does scare me a little bit but we're gonna try this together so send me like positive vibes <gasps> Oh no, it says on the back not for use on sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin. Beauties, we might need to rethink this. As much as I want to try this, I really don't want to have a reaction. Mm, how annoying. Sorry Glam Glow, I'm going to have to try your products another time with a different mask because I don't think this one is going to be for me. Okay, let me go and find another one. I'll be back. Okay, I am back and I have a different mask. I've literally got so many masks in my collection right now so if there is a particular mask that you really want me to test then definitely let me know. I've just grabbed this one from Bare Minerals which is the Bare Minerals Dirty Detox Skin Glowing and Refining Mud Mask. Now all of Bare Minerals products seem to be okay with my skin. This does sound like a really gentle formula so it's got charcoal, mineral rich clays, papaya enzyme, basically it's just going to give me smooth luminous and vibrant skin. This is the pot, it's got a rose gold lid which obviously 
I am living for. How cute, it comes with a little mini spatula. That is so cute. I'm so used to using um, face masks with my brush though, so I am just gonna apply it with my brush. But of course you can use a spatula if you want to. I always make the mistake of leaving my hair down while I'm doing face masks, just because I prefer how it looks. Oh, don't mind that I'm also in a really like casual, baggy jumper, but I just want it to be chill. You know, we're just doing skincare. I don't need to be glam. Put this up. I've got a spot that come up here. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. It's so annoying. I presume this is gonna be like a green color. Yes, oh my God, that looks crazy. It doesn't look that appetizing, does it? Okay, so I'm just dipping into the very suspect swirl of mud. <laughs> Looks like a ninja turtle. <laughs> I'm just popping a little bit on my nose. Just casual, you know, casual day in the office. <laughs> so far, so good. It applied really, really nicely and it just feels quite calming on my skin. It doesn't feel like I've got a heavy mask on. It just feels like quite cooling and refreshing, to be honest. Now, masks are really good to do just to give your skin a treat. So I would say once a week, that's what I normally do is pop a face mask on. This normally happens on a Sunday with Sunny. We um, have our little face mask session and it's a great opportunity for me to try out different masks as well because I've got so many here. Obviously, each mask that you use is kind of specified to do a certain thing and um, this one is really great for drawing out all your impurities and giving your skin a little boost of luminosity and hydration so that's definitely what my skin needs I don't need anything too intense like packed with loads of acids so this one is a really great one if you're starting off with masking and you just want quite a natural gentle one so I'm gonna leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes I mean you can't see right now but this mask actually matches my car key jogging buttons. <laughs> Next products that I'm going to use while I have my face mask on. So this is a great time efficient way of adding another step into your skincare regime. So I'm going to give these a go. Now I'm a bit skeptical on lip masks. I don't think we need them. I think it's probably a lot better to run your face scrub over your lips to exfoliate. I'm not sure how much my lips need like hydration because I use lip balm, but we'll see anyway. This is great for hydrating and toning. So moisture rich, plumping biocellulose lip masks from Rodial. Rodial are quite a luxurious brand. I feel like this would be just a real treat in your regime. You don't need to do this. But I just thought while I've got my face mask on, I might as well give these a go. There is eight sachets in this box. I love the packaging. I think it's really, really cool. So it says just to leave this onto my lips for 15 minutes. Obviously, once it's on, I can't talk to you. So I'm telling you that now. I'm going to pop it on, leave it on my lips, wait for my mud mask to dry. Now, so you just take off the film on either side. So you're left with the kind of jelly in the middle. Okay, so the great thing about this mask is that you can actually do stuff. I was just like eating sweets because it's got the gap in it. So that's really handy and I can talk. So that's quite cool. Mask, it's completely dried. So you can see I've got nothing on my fingers. I'm gonna take this off using some damp cotton pads. Should I take off the lip mask first? Yeah, let's wipe this off. I feel like they look plumper, you know? Or is that just me? I feel like they're firmer. I feel really, really soft. Oh, I like that. Again, as I said, that's just a nice treat. This is coming off really nicely. Sometimes with masks, you've really got to scrub your skin to get them off, but this is coming off beautifully. It's kind of like I'm putting water on it and it's just melting away. Beauties, this is so annoying. I've come up in like a rash here and here. No. So this is the most annoying thing about skincare is that I have really sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin as well, this product probably isn't gonna be for you. I thought it was gonna be really gentle, but yeah, I have come out with a 
rash. It doesn't feel irritated though, which is the most bizarre thing. It feels like really gorgeous and soft and hydrated. It feels really nice, but I've just got this rash. Really, really strange. Obviously with skincare, it really is a personal thing. I feel like this is a really good mask, but it just hasn't agreed with my skin. If you've got skin where you can get away with using a lot of different products and it's not really that prone to sensitivity then i think this will be fine for you but yeah for literal sensitive souls like me maybe not okay while this situation calms down i'm going to move on to eyes so this is the elemis pro collagen hydrogel eye masks now obviously at the minute i don't have any aging underneath my eyes i don't really have dark circles or puffiness um but prevention is better than cure so i'm definitely paying more attention to underneath my eyes and um, because that really is where you can get dehydrated and that's where the fine lines and wrinkles start to show this is anti-aging it has hyaluronic acid in the formula which is great so it's really going to plump out the skin underneath my eyes i feel like i should get my mum to test these as well to see what the results are like on her. Again, I just feel like this is a real treat. You don't have to use eye masks. Um, I would recommend using an eye cream if you can. Um, but yeah, this really is just a, it's a nice little treat. I take off either side. Okay, they're like little jellies. Oh my God, they're so refreshing. If you had like a hangover, not that I am recommending that you do, but if you were like really tired or hungover, oh my god, this would be amazing. The girls at Elemis also said that they keep them in the fridge, so it's even more like cooling and hydrating. Oh my god, this is so nice. Okay, let's talk to you about creams. Now, if you don't moisturise your skin, I don't know how you go to bed at night without moisturising your skin. My friend Laura was telling me like she literally doesn't moisturise sometimes. She just washes her face with water, like just uses a face wipe and goes to bed. I'm like, no! It's so important to hydrate your skin. Now this is such a luxurious buy and I'm not saying that everyone needs this in their life and they should go out and get it. But if you are looking to splurge on a very luxurious item, this, has been incredible. So it's the Le Mer, the Renewal Oil, and my skin just feels so gorgeous when I use this product. So I pop this underneath my moisturizer. So you're gonna leave these pads, by the way, for 20 minutes, it says. So I'm just gonna crack on and do the rest of my skincare while this gets to work. So you just use the little dropper tool, and then rub it into the skin, hopefully it will calm this irritation down as well because the Mer is a really gentle brand. If you have got skin sensitivity, I mean, their products are just amazing. It was actually created by a guy who was a burns victim and um, yeah, he was trying to find a cream that would help really treat his scarring and that's how the Mer cream was born. So if you think it's gentle enough for a burns victim, then it would definitely be gentle enough for you. Now onto creams, it is the middle of the day right now, so I'm not gonna put on my night cream, but I will talk to you about it. So I've been using this, which is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. It's really cool because it comes out like in a pump action like this. You just press it down and the product comes out. Um, this has retinol in it, which might sound scary, and it's definitely an ingredient that I haven't touched before because I just didn't really want to get into that hardcore skincare. But this really is amazing if you are new to any kind of retinol or really techy ingredients for your skin. So this is a really gentle, gentle way of using retinol. Basically what retinol does, this is an incredible ingredient that really does help with anti-aging, but also if you have aging as well. So for my mum, I'm definitely gonna get her to try this because it's great for fine lines, wrinkles, plumping the skin but for me it's really great for anti-aging so it's gonna help keep my skin like this for as long as possible so I have this in the Murad range and also the eye serum which I will pop on after these eye masks this really does target like all the fine lines and wrinkles underneath the eyes but it also helps with dark circles and puffiness as well this is a new product which is really exciting and I was gonna use it in this video but due to this 
situation over here I don't want to risk irritating my skin even more and um, so I haven't actually tried this yet but I do really want to try and give it a go um, it's the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops now this brand is vegan friendly cruelty free and organic so an incredible brand and it's also color correcting as well so I have the dark drops which is the lavender color correcting formula what you do is you basically pop this in with your moisturizer so it is face and body you could pop a couple of drops into your body lotion if you just want to apply it really quickly in the morning but I definitely want to try popping this in my day cream putting it on my skin and seeing how well it tans me um, over the course of the day or of course you can do it overnight if you want to as well so this will definitely be tested soon but right now I'm just gonna let my skin do its thing. The day cream that I've been using is this from Elemis. I mean, it's in the most gorgeous, extravagant box. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which is an anti-wrinkle day cream. Now try not to get too scared when products say anti-wrinkle if you're quite young and you don't have wrinkles yet. It's not necessarily only targeted to people that have wrinkles, it's also targeted to people that don't and to prevent them from coming out. I mean, everything that you can do at my kind of age I'm 25 anything that I can do now to my skin while it's good I'm gonna do to make sure that it keeps like this your future self will thank you for it <laughs> now this is one of the most iconic hero products in Elemis they sell like I think they said one every 10 seconds or something like that which is insane it's such a cult product for them and I could really see why when I tried it for this first time it's in a gorgeous nice big tub I find this really really gentle for my sensitive skin and it's just so nice to put on I'm just taking a blob on my finger now as this is a day moisturizer it is quite light and refreshing it's more like a gel like consistency rather than a thick cream so just popping that into my hands you can see that it goes clear straight away and just really working that into the skin now i watched jenna doing is that how you say her name it was due in tatum but now they've broke up so sad about that but she always pats the skin which i've started to try and do because by patting the skin you're not dragging your skin you're not rubbing it and it's just a really nice gentle way of applying your products always 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 make sure you take it down onto the neck they say that your face actually stops like here because all of this you should be treating as well you should be really using your creams and serums on your neck because you don't want an old saggy wrinkly neck when you're older <laughs> the fragrance of this cream is really really light very refreshing it's just a great day moisturizer as like a prep before you put on your makeup because it doesn't feel heavy on the skin my skin feels really light and refreshed really nice to apply in the morning and also just really gentle as well on my skin which is amazing so i'm now going to take off these pads underneath my eyes I mean, I can't say I massively notice a difference underneath my eyes, but I guess if you've done it quite a lot, you would start to see a difference. And also because I don't really have dark circles or puffiness or anything like that underneath my eyes, I can't really see what it's helped, but it felt really nice and that's the main thing. <laughs> All I've got left to do now is put on my Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum pop that underneath the eyes here to treat this very very delicate area they say that this bit of skin here underneath the eyes is so much more thinner than the rest of your face one two three one two three just rubbing that in it just feels so nice and refreshing so that is a full skincare regime that you can do obviously you can adapt it how you want change the products pick a few pick all of them um, all the links to everything will be in the down bar below as well as other products that I do love as well do let me know what you think about skincare is it something that you really focus on is it something you want to focus on if you've got any really cool skincare products that you love and that you haven't seen that I've used before then definitely do let me know in the comments because I'm always up for trying new things but obviously today it's gone slightly wrong for me but apart from that my skin just, just feels so glowing and soft 
Like literally, it's like baby soft right now. If you did enjoy this video and you found it a little bit helpful, then please do like below, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Sending you all so much love and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.